Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. And looks like it is time for another episode. And here we are. And let me get rid of that crazy little notification. All right, let's go ahead and step into the game, shall we? <laughs> and play. There's our girl, Raven Shadow Speaker. As you can see, it shows any mount we happen to have set and our cosmetic pet we happen to have set. So, that's one good thing I like about about the game is you'll always know which mount and which cosmetic pet you have set active because it will show you. Well, I hope everyone's doing all right this morning. Hope you're all having a good day. Hopefully the weather's not drowning you. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna exit out. And we are going to notifications, get the daily. What is that, anyways? Oh, experience scroll. So, I mean, I could use it with her if I really wanted to, to get her level up higher. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyways, we are supposed to enter... Uh, I can't even remember how it was pronounced now. Cicatrice. Yeah, Cicatrice. All right. Yeah, I remember this place now. Yeah. Woo! A little bit higher than I was expecting, but we'll go ahead and get the searching over with. Crates. Coffee. How about that? All right. And you can tell... It says there's a blighted vanguard right there. So we're going to go ahead and get this party started, shall we? <laughs> Oops. Because if you remember, you know, we talked to that uh, Argonian, and we got to go into the cicatrice and find the source of, uh, what was it, like a mist? Well, I didn't mean to really grab the torch bug, but I did anyways. Um, and I guess rescue people. So let's see. Anything interesting over here? Ah, maple. Heartwood harvester. So I should be able to uh, put a point or so into... Uh, Gathering wood. Let's see. Gather disease samples. Oh, boy. So, I guess we have to fight him. I don't remember. It's been a while, but... Frozen Colossus increased to three. Which I don't understand why. I mean, I didn't use it, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. Hey, look, here's a chest. Now, these chests, one thing I never mentioned is they are accessible to everybody. Whoops, come on. I mean, yeah, it is going to disappear. Um, but it's like, you know, first come, first serve. Um, also, should you happen to be in a team, then you can all... Um, I do believe everybody can take from it. Do you have a chance? you have to uh, decide who wants what or something? I don't remember. I just know that... Uh, I remember doing dungeons and somebody opened one and everybody was able to go in and get stuff from it. So, But I don't remember exactly how that works out. Okay. I'm not even sure where we're supposed to get these samples from, but if we just wipe everybody out, 
That's one way to, to do it. Oh, there's three of them there. Well then. Ah, sample of diseased blood. Got two of them. Not sure why it sounded like... Not sure. It sounded like metal rubbing against metal somehow. Whoa! Easy there with the fire, pal! Aw, there was something up here. I guess it was... I was able to get a sample from, but... So much for that. But there's the, the mist. I don't know if there's anything else. I want to keep looking around in this area. But it shows... Eokus is right there. Uh... Yeah, let's keep let's keep looking. Ah. Then I get myself killed by being reckless. Which kind of felt like what I was doing. Being a little bit too reckless. Urn. Water skin. Oop, there's another chest. Look at that. See it? Right over here. Alright. Now, I don't know if you want to say there's not really a secret to opening these chests. Um... It's just you just got to be you got to be able to be quick, make uh, quick movements. Um, like when you first hear it and and see it shake, that's when you want to release. If you can do it a fraction of a second before then, then that's what you need to do. Ooh, just hit 12. But we're going to wait a bit just because this is not a safe place to be. I don't want to see you just go anywhere and let's see. Wow, there's a lot of them. Oh. Sounds like there's somebody alive over there. So. I'm not sure why that one's not moving. They were starting their an attack. Yep. Crowd control. Some kind of trap. Yes, I know I'm level 12, but I'm not going to do anything about it just yet. Wait, is that a mushroom that I can get? Yeah, it's a white cap. Alright, let's see. Because I keep hearing people talking. So, we're going to... Hit. <laughs> there we go. That took care of all them pretty quick. That sounded, um, ah, uh, what's the, what is it I'm trying to think of? It's got an echo to it, some reverb. So that makes me wonder if it's not a trap just by the sound. I mean, it could be just a voice that they stuck in there, um, to get you to travel further. <gasps> Here's another chest. Look at that. Three of them.
This is crazy. I mean, you don't, I mean, yeah, you do come across these, but I've never come across this many this quickly. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was another one. I was just going to have a cow. <laughs> Come on, you. There we go. Well. I was trying to figure out where the voice is coming from, but... Either it was a setup, which that's kind of where I'm leaning. Or it was just... Um, game dialogue they just stuck in there for... I don't know... Add to the realism, maybe? Okay. Um, check and see if there's anything over here. Doesn't appear to be... Just some stuff, crates and whatnot. Okay, so, well, it looks like that whoever that voice was was talking about that it's just, what, a scratch or just itching or something like that. Looks like that was just a setup. So, ooh, look at this, another one. This is insane. I cannot believe this. Whoa! That hasn't happened in a long time. Huh. That. Oh, look, here's this. Now, when I'm saying this is crazy, I'm, I mean it. I mean, I when I was playing this game regularly, I was playing it every day, usually two to three hours at a time, if not, if not more. And I've never come across this many chests in one day. You know, as in a whole day of playing. I've been playing, like, not even 15 minutes. And this was, what, the fourth one? So that's just... For me, it's unheard of to come across that many of these chests. So we're going to come over here, where we're supposed to go. Go see Iokas. Um, as soon as I find him. Then Ajira will go alone. She will not sit idle while her friends suffer. Please, don't be foolish. Najira, wait. Okay, well, before we do anything, we're going to go ahead and level up. Um, tip bag upgrades. Yes, I know. It's just, it, it's expensive. But let's see, we got gold, we got, oh, we got a spare bag upgrade. Nice. So that's an extra 10 slots, and then it unlocks a uh, dungeon finder. So, claim rewards. She's excited. <laughs> All right. Um, one point. Oh, let's go ahead and add it to health this time. She gets two skill points. I do remember... Mm, we're, we're going... Let's see. We're going to save one. That much I know. Um, let's see. I'm just seeing what all the we've got going here. Metalworking, clothing, Kenai, runestones, no. Alright, so there's not a whole... I mean, there's not much... We can, I mean, there, yes, there is, but, you know, you don't, you don't pick everything. You just pick what you think is going to be best for your character, what's going to allow them to do the most, be the most effective. Um, I'm trying to find one that has passive, because I don't think, okay, these are passive skills under Gravelord, let's see. Um, that's just the cost. 
Increases critical strike chance against enemies under 25% health by 5% for each Gravelord ability slotted, huh? Well, that's all well and good, I suppose. Um, let's see what, what we got for dis Destruction Staff. Wall of Elements. Uh, and then Destructive Touch. Destructive touch is 14 meters <laughs> range. Let's see. None of these are, um, what's the word? Advised. So, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to hold on to them for right now until I, till I decide what I want to do. I know I want to get a point for persuasion. And we're going to be doing that soon. I'm planning on doing that today. But let's get, get talking to Iokas. I am glad to see you unharmed. Were you able to gather the samples? I gathered the samples. Uh, where is Najira going? She fears for our companion's safety. I urged her to wait, for without an antidote she will quickly succumb to the fumes as well. But Najira refused to listen. I must begin my research. However, I still require a blossom of Arke's Lash. Arke's Lash? A cactus with a bright pink flower. It has great medicinal properties. Would you collect a blossom for me? The cactus can be found west of here, in a small glade atop a crag. In the meantime, I'll begin to study the samples you brought. I'll gather the blossom. Thank you once more for your aid, traveler friend. After I create an antidote, we can enter the Oasis Caverns and rescue my companions. Perhaps even find my egg mother's research notes as well. Alright, um, so... Well, let's go see if there's anything here that, that uh, we can get our grubby little hands on. Hmm. Usually when there's a cluster of barrels, usually one uh, search of it is all you need to collect stuff from any or all of them. But not this time. Yeah, that, that was weird seeing that lockpick break. That doesn't happen too often. Well, it didn't with me. So... All right, so where are we headed? We are headed west, Arkay's Lash. How far away are we going? Oh, we're not that far at all. Um, so, I don't think, I think we have to go the outside. I don't think inside there is going to work, is it? It showed that we were really close. Well, not that close, I suppose. But we are up high, so we're really limited on where we can go. So let's go up here. Make sure we don't get attacked by something. Okay. Oh, there's somebody with their their pet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, wolves, or coyotes, or, what is it, dire wolves? Yep, dire wolves. Huh, so let's just go ahead and make them mad. Ah. Come on. I'm sure there's got to be another. No? Oh, how far away am I? I'm just like right there. Is it up there? Looks that looks that way, doesn't it? All right. So, armadillo, I do believe. No nope, badger. Sorry, it looked like an armadillo from a distance. I don't want people thinking he can't tell the difference. I can too. It just looked like something different. Good heavens! Where is the top of this? area. Alright, here we go. Jeez. Talk about taking the scenic route. Alright, a bunch of noises and stuff from different creatures. Alright. I keep wanting to do <laughs> this. I can't see on the other side of that rock. 
But I'm sure we've all done it. How dare you intrude upon my oasis? Leave this place now! Boy, she was angry. Well, we're gonna have. Let's see. Wait, what else did I see? Oh, just torch bug. Okay, let me just take the flower. Okay. Running, 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 running. Kind of. What's up here, if anything? Torch bug. Alright, nothing of consequence, looks like. So, I guess we'll head back. I just want to see if there's anything of interest. No? All right. Um, ooh, yeah, I kind of forgot how I got up here. All right. And back around. There's people running because they're probably headed towards... They might be headed towards the uh, dragon. There's the... Uh, um, that direction leads to one of the uh, dragon... Um, what's it? Ah, hunting grounds. Uh, we'll definitely go there eventually. Oh, someone just took out... Ooh. Yeah, those griffins are no fun to fight. Well, we fought that one. If you remember. Where that one, uh, Khajiit was talking about his fighting or hunting or killing prowess or something like that. Clunk. And clunk. Wait. Where did it? I was going to say, what in the world? I just came across a. Oh, I came across this lower camp. I'm like, wait a minute, what's yes, going on here? This should do it. All right, Iokus, wake up. My antidote is nearly complete. All I need now is the RK's Lash Blossom. Were you able to get one? I have the blossom, but I spotted a Nereid in the glade. She demanded I leave. Nereid? Most peculiar. I wonder if she's somehow connected to the Oasis. Ah, but there is no time to speculate while my companions are still in danger. I must deliver this antidote to them. With luck, it will give them the strength to escape. I can deliver the antidote for you. Thank you, traveler friend. I fear to ask, but already you volunteer. Make sure to drink some of the antidote before entering the Oasis caverns. And please, See if you can find my egg mother's research notes. I guess I'll try it again. Your egg mother's research notes? My egg mother attempted to develop a cure for the Nahatan flu when it first struck a cicatrice. I am sure she kept meticulous notes about her progress. Such research will be vital to learning what happened here. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for any research notes. Okay, oh, what? I have to wait for him? Oh, okay, duh. Here you are, traveler friend. Let us hope this potion has the desired effect. Yeah, let's hope. Drink! Mmm, yummy! Ooh, there's a glow. Oh, on the Cahotan flu. Ooh, ding! Lore book discovered. It says it in the upper right-hand corner. Yeah, you all can see that part. Okay, um... Oop. Earn and earn. All right, we are headed. What was that? Ooh, backpack. An iron girdle. All right. Well, anyways, enough of that. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Gee, where is the opening to that place? Down here, I guess? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Kind of looks like it. Do, do. Ooh, bristled thorn or br <laughs> bristled thorn. Yeah, wasn't he? Well, I was close, wasn't I? 
Blessed Thistle. Sometimes things get twisted around in my little brain. Yeah, this is where we're supposed to go. All right. Um, all right. Check around the crates. All right. Um, we should be good. Oh, actually, actually let's um, check our staff. All right. As you can see, um, when I talked about using soul gems, yeah, you can see it now. Um, in the middle of the screen, underneath Prophet's uh, Inferno Staff, you see that bar? It's like about three quarters of the way blue. That shows you how much charge it still has left. So if you happen to be a caster, like she is, um, or any, or actually any weapon that could have an enchantment on it, um, let's see if I can find something that has it. It's probably not going to let me. Okay, here we go. Crafty Alfique's Great Sword. You can see it's got that blue bar filled up because of the enchantment. Absorbs Magicka enchantment. It says deals 1,544 uh, magic damage and restores 288. So just like she casts fire from that staff, and that uses a little bit of the charge, just like every time you hit with this weapon and it uses that enchantment, it'll use up a little bit of that. So you can use Soul Gem to refill it. But she's fine. Oh, we got somebody else going in there. So I'm going to wait a minute because... Well, just because, you know, if they go in there, they're going to, you know, they're going to kill everything. Well, actually, we'll see, we'll see, what, we'll see what the uh, map looks like. Because that way, if it happens to be like in a circle, and if they go left, we can go right. And then by the time we cross paths, hopefully, everything that they fought would respawn. But no, probably not, but who knows. Let's just get in here first and just see. Well, they haven't even started yet. Okay, what's that? Anything? No. All right, look at the map. It is kind of in a circle. Um, so we're going to start off by going to the right. A torch bug or something. I don't want the torch bug. Complete, completed search for survivors. It's like, well, okay. Now we'll talk to Lara. You must leave here now. The very air is poisonous. Lara Tan. Ioka sent me. I have an antidote that will help. Iokas? I knew he would not abandon us. You must hurry. My companions ran deeper into the caves. Let them know that I'll remain here, ready to tend to them. <laughs> How are you feeling? Look at her. She just looks like she's just feeling a t on the top of her game. I will be <laughs> all right. The fumes have weakened me, but not as much as the others. A blessing of my Argonian blood. I just need to rest a moment more. All right, I'll go rescue your companions. After I see if there's anything here to take. Gather research. Oh, I was going to say, that was something? But yeah, I have to gather research notes and all that good stuff. But we will do that here in a second. Flower sack. And here's bookshelves that, well, surprisingly, you can't interact. Ah, well. Well, my finger was faster than my brain, so I picked up spoiled food. Which it'll just have to, I mean, it does take up a spot in your inventory. Um, ooh, flesh flies. Um, they do take up a spot in your inventory. So you just pretty much just have to destroy them because I'm pretty sure they're not even worth a single coin. All right. Um, sort of came, let's see, just want to check. All right, um, this is where we came in. So, that's where I went, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, because that's the flesh flies. All right, so we're gonna look up here real fast. I'm not interested in the torch bug this time. 
drink, 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 drink. <laughs> bookshelf. All right. And a bookshelf with no books in it. But who cares? Okay. Can we do anything with that? No. All right. So which which way are we headed? Looks like this way. All right. Well, that's the way I wanted to go anyhow. Centipede, skeevers. Yeah, we're going to have to... F they're just going to... I just know they're going to attack us. All right. Drinks, 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 drinks. Crate. I was gonna say what? Oh, torch or I was gonna say torch flies. No, flesh flies. And I said usually that's for fishing bait, but it does go into your um, crafting. I do believe it might. Well, it may not. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But even if it doesn't, it's easy enough to get rid of if we don't want it. Okay. Getting there. Flesh flies, a blighted choker. Ooh, blighted blood cleaver. So let's get that one. Here, oh, that's just a rat. Okay, look. Um, bad guys. You're kind of quick on your feet, weren't you? Bad kitty. Okay. What do we got over here? Oh, a bunch of skeevers. Okay. Is that one? Nope. Flesh flies. All right. Barrel. We're getting there. Well, at least at the end of this part. Then we have to backtrack, which sucks. At least I think we do. Oh, maybe not. Nope, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, what do we got here? Anything? No. Ah, there's one that's playing dead. Let's wake him up, shall we? Lighted collar boy. I'll say it was really smoky in that area, wasn't it? All right, so let's. Here's some research notes. Whoa, what, what, what? I was. <laughs> say, what's attacking me? I did not see you. Boom. Wait, what was it? Flesh flies. Okay, and here's Nikusha's research note three. So, you know, obviously, um, well, we could read this, couldn't we? Um, by Nikusha Blackmarsh Alchemist, 28th of Sun's Height. How could I let this happen? I was so sure that I would be able to contain this plague, but even with our best efforts, it spread rapidly. With so much at stake, I began to rush with my research. After all, what good is a cure when there are none left to heal? But through my studies, 
I did something horrible. The oasis, once a place of purity and healing, has been tainted by this sickness as well. I do not know if it is the presence of so many bodies or merely the aura of death, but the oasis has changed rapidly. Corpses have begun to spring to life and a miasma fills the cavern. I doubt any will survive past this day. I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant for this to happen. I was just trying to save the town I had grown to love, to save the people who took in a lonely traveler and placed so much trust in me. I'm sorry. Aww. And unfortunately, that was the third note. So, again, we're doing things backwards, but there's not really... Unless you've done this numerous times, there's no way of knowing. Yeah, I see you, Butcher. Oh, I didn't see the other one. Ooh, that was very nice. Come on. I don't know, like 50 shades of catnip thing going on there. Okay. Do, 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 do. Wait, what's that? Did I see something? Or was I just imagining things? Uh, imagining things. Again. Oh, hello. headed oh okay um so we made it all the way back so let's see let's well let's go let's go uh south and then west because it looks like that's the way we would have gone normally to get the um uh notes in order That's one thing I wish this game could do, is find a way uh, to put notes like that in actual numerical order if you happen to come at it from a different, uh, different, a different angle, different end. All right. Oh, Blighted Choker. That was some quick reaction time there. That was just whip around and whoop up on you. All right, what do we have? Okay, so this is just all one, one thing. All right. Mm, go get them. Ooh. <laughs> I thought there was another one there. Okay, anything... Ooh, where's this headed? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so... I want to see... Ah! I'll say I heard it, but I didn't see him. Ooh, 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 ooh. somewhat flesh flies I know you're probably thinking leave the flesh flies alive all right so we went through here so it looks like we have to go through here correct correct all right um all right Oh, you turd! He stopped my spell. And... 
That'll take care of you. Right. Um, flesh flies. Torch bug. A butcher. Yay for the butcher. Whoa. That was kind of interesting. I think my skeleton went and killed the centipede. Instead of going after the butcher. Or he killed it on the way. I'm not sure which. It all happened too quick. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see what's next. Um, well, it looks like we can either... We don't want to go to the right, so what do you think? Um, looks like we'll go to the left. Which I didn't even know there was a spot there until I saw it on the map. Seasonings. And the grapes. Those grapes, those are going to be used, I believe, to make grape jelly. Vajira. Should have listened to Ayokas. Ah, there's Najira. Thank you for saving this foolish one, Walker. She should not have returned. Boy, talk about some quick acting medicine, huh? Ooh, drink. Drink. And. Ooh. Ah! There we go. Okay. Um. Blighted night. <laughs> Thud. Drink. Okay. Oop, there's another one. A choker. What does that say? Blight, blighted blood cleaver. Ah, okay. And it is kind of weird that the character I chose to play for this is actually a caster. Because I normally, I mean, when I used to start to play these games, I was melee. I would always pick like a fighter or a warrior or a knight or something. As a, as a matter of fact, the first character I got was a, what do they call it? A dra uh, dragon knight? And, um, but it's just one of, the, one of those things where, you know, obviously you, you don't want to die. So you don't, so you want to get hit as least as possible. So I started doing uh, casting and melee. So I would like, um, I would fight them ranged as long as I could. And then once they got within melee range, I would switch to, uh, to melee weapons. But I'm not doing that here with her. At least not yet. Ah, research note two. Let's see. By Nakusha, uh, Black Marsh, Alchemist, 14th of Sun's Height. Now remember, we're going in reverse order. I finally discovered why this oasis has healing properties. It's not the water itself, but rather a Nereid who calls the caverns home. This secret may have remained forever if not for our sudden intrusion. For the Nereid seems a painfully shy creature. Clan mother Abasi has refused to let anyone go near her, isolating the central chamber where the Nereid lives. I believe this to be a foolish move. The Nereid's powers could aid our research greatly. The Khajiit, uh, the Khajiit shake their heads in ignorance, fearing that it will only anger her. We argued for many hours over this. Unnecessary, perhaps, but tensions are high. More and more of our people grow ill, and many have already died. 
and just because I cannot contract this illness does not mean I am unaffected. All right, so more flesh flies, and means we gotta go this way. Let's see which way we headed. Huh? Well, we still got ways to go, so let's get going, shall we? And I see skeevers. Oh boy, a bunch of them. Well, that was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. I don't remember ever coming across so many flesh flies before. But I guess it kind of makes sense. Alright, where did I... Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> he just fell back down. Because I was out of his, uh, his line of sight or whatever. Flesh flies! The thing is, I don't go fishing, so I don't know why I keep getting him. Oh, yeah? Okay... Barrels? Yeast. Kind of an odd thing to have in a cave, but whatever. Uh, why'd that Gorana look like a strawberry? Does Gorana look like strawberries? Maybe I just did it so quick that's what I saw. I don't know. Honey! Alright, Skeevers! Dungeon Disaster Dealer. Oh, there's... Oh, another sick person. Is anyone there? Squish, squish, squish. P Pilazas? Give in to them. Thank you, stranger. This one will find her way out. <laughs> Flash flies! I don't understand what my fascination is with flesh flies this run. They're there, I guess. I guess I just don't see them too often. Hmm, that was new. I don't remember that kind of spell before. Oh, here we go. Come on. I was kidding. Boom. <laughs> well, come on now. Oh, there we go. Sometimes that happens. They'll land just just right, and you can't... Either you have to look, uh, point your reticula in a weird place to be able to loot them, or you can't loot them at all. It's pretty rare that that happens, but it does happen. It's happened to me on a couple of different occasions. Okay. Oh, easy there, killer. I wasn't ready for you yet. Okay, well that took care of those two. Flesh flies. It's weird how they, it makes it look like I don't know, like little like ember, like a, a like ash and burning embers in the air. All right, well here's the first research note by Nakusha Black Marsh Alchemist, Seventh of Sun's Height, all of Cicatrice has escaped into the caverns of the oasis. This is only a temporary solution, of course. I estimate that my research should be completed within a season or two. 
Luckily, food and clean water are abundant. Clan Mother Abasi still does not completely trust me. After all, I am an outsider to her people, newly arrived and of another race. But what choice has she now? This plague has decimated Cicatrice, and the town has been reduced to ash. Only my actions can save those save these people now right so now i have to rescue another person so let's see where are we uh oh i was gonna say where was that coming from okay i wasn't okay so we have to go to her left okay so it's this way Oh, I, I knew there was three o or two over there. I didn't think there was three. Hard to walk in this sticky stuff. Sticky, slimy. No. Ah. Get out of there. Woo. Good thing I got out of there when I did. That was ugly. All right. Nice that nothing sticks to the clothes. Jeez, the laundry bill would be ridiculous. Anything over here of interest? Not really. It's kind of an interesting place to stash something, but whatever. Yeah. Alright, there's two of them. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. Ah! go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Centipede. That would just be more fishing bait. Ah! I don't know why I did that. Just went over there nonchalantly. A bunch of, a bunch of dead bodies. Like, you know, we haven't had to deal with, you know, reanimated bodies. Flesh flies. All right, our other person, she's just, he or she is just right here. Ah, oh, there's the arrow. Looks like they're inside that chamber. Or on the other side of that sewer grate. Oh, you're right up against it. No, hang on. I'm sloshing my way over. It's a hell of a place to sit, dummy. Did Ayokas make this? A bungee was thank you. Return to Oasis entrance. All right, so... We about got this one licked. Just check for goodies... You think all this stuff would be corrupted, but no. Or at least they just didn't want to go through the time to do that. <laughs> so much for you. Wait. Oh. That was weird. That does happen sometimes if you step through a... I don't know what you want to call that. Just little section where you're going from one to another if you don't go far enough then it'll do that make it look like you need to go back the way you came which can be kind of confusing <laughs> do da do da all right mm. Ah! 
Interesting. Barrels. Crates. There I went again. Arana, but I just collected it so quickly I didn't really have time to look to see what it was. Drink, drink, drink. It looked like old ther old time thermoses. Okay, so what, this way? Wait, no. This way. Yes. Wait, what was that? Oh, just torch bug. <laughs> Loot your carcass before you even fall to the ground. Lots of stuff to drink here. There's like three, four, five. That's pretty good. All right. Clump, clump, clump. There's another one. They're everywhere. I'm not very quick on the draw. It just dawned on me. They're probably called chokers because, well, they were just sending their choking. Alright. Uh, skeever, 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 skeevers. Die, skeevers. Yeah, I think rawhide scraps can be used in uh, crafting, I do believe. I think you can make leather from it. Clean pelt. Jeez, where are we? So say, we've been walking a long time. It kind of seems like we weren't getting anywhere. But we are. There we go. Bump, 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 bump. Uh oh. It's like, well, I am trying to return, but. Alright, so which way am I going? Wait, what did I miss? Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe? I don't know. Maybe we have to go in. I was there. What the heck happened? Oh, well. Come on. Now, health and magic and stamina and all that stuff, it does uh, replenish itself slowly with time. So that's not an, you know, that's not an issue. Of course, there are potions and foods and stuff that you can use for that exact same thing. I'm not even sure where I was going with that. <laughs> Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, Magicka, which you know I use for the spells and stuff, is um, replenished whenever I use heavy attacks with my with my staff. That's another way of uh, replenishing your magicka is by using heavy attacks with your uh, with your staff. Jeez. See if I can just get past him and head this way. Okay. I swear, it's not the fumes. 
I heard someone in the central chamber. It is all right, Larata. I believe you. I hear they all are. So we had to make it back to this specific spot. All right, so we'll talk to Iokas. Thank you for saving my companions. Were you also able to find my egg mother's research notes? They would be invaluable <sighs> to learning what occurred here. I was able to find some of her notes. Thank the hist. I was worried her research would be lost forever. Hmm. She writes of a Nereid who lives here, and and how her research tainted the oasis. I see. This must be the root of all the despair we have encountered. How so? The Nereid once made this oasis a place of healing, but by filling these caverns with sickness and death, it drastically changed her. She must be the one who created these fumes and raised these corpses. What can be done? I'm afraid that the Nereid must be killed. She poses a threat to all who visit Cicatrice, and by raising the dead she has defiled many. Her death, Hist willing, will also allow this oasis to finally begin to heal. I'll kill the Nereid. With your help, my egg mother's terrible mistake can finally be mended. Thank you, traveler friend. For now, I'll lead my companions back to camp. Do you know what exactly happened to the Nereid to corrupt, bleh, to corrupt her this way? Nereids are inherently linked to the body of water they inhabit. The plague victims stayed within these caverns for weeks. Slowly, they tainted the purity of the oasis. What was once a place of healing became a place of sickness and death. So they tainted the Nereid as well. Precisely. As the clear waters of this oasis grew polluted, so too did her spirit. Once, the Nereid healed those who came to her. Now she seeks to infect and kill. She embodies the very plague which tainted her. So killing the Nereid will heal the oasis? I'm afraid it will still take many years to fully heal the oasis. But killing the Nereid will begin that process. Without her to create the fumes and raise corpses, the oasis has a chance to finally be cleansed. Goodbye. Now you hear Argonians talk about the Hist. It's uh, a giant, I believe, sentient tree that is like their uh, part of their pantheon. That they're connected to this tree and it speaks to them and all that good stuff. One day we'll get to learn more about that when we go into the Argonians' homeland. But, oh god, that looked like a straight downward drop, didn't it? <laughs> I thought, holy crap! <laughs> it's going to be one hell of a step. Even, well, it's pretty steep. Whoa, yeah. So you weren't... Th that happens because that's their way of saying you're not meant to backtrack. So I will not. I would not be able to... If I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to go back. Oh, goody, that's always fun to see. It's that n nice, big, long red bar at the top. That's a... That is the life bar of a boss. Why did you have to come? No. I won't let anyone corrupt this oasis. Not again. Why couldn't you leave me be? Monsters! Defiler! I just wanted to heal them. Why? got a maple inferno staff of shock so i actually prefer the uh, st uh staves of shock over the the staves of fire just because i like the uh, animations better flesh flies all right so how am i supposed to get out of out of here then just turn right around and Go the way we came? Looks like. But... Yeah. It says this is the way to go. I didn't think I'd be able to make it to the door, though, because of the way I came down. Alright, it just made a liar out of me. That's alright, though. Okay, since I know I'm safe now, let's let's look at that that staff. See if it's any better. 
Um, same damage. Um, same uh, health given. They both get give. Uh, oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong ones. Ah, stupid me. Uh, no, it doesn't have the. Uh, not part of the profit set. So unfortunately, it's not. It's not that. It's not as good as what I have. Are we leaving? Or I guess okay. I thought we had to go and converge back where we were just a minute ago, but apparently not. Apparently we are leaving this place all together. Alrighty. Looks like I'm watching the stream. It looks like it's probably about a good 10 seconds behind. I don't know why the it's taking that long for it to catch up. It just is. Unfortunately, it's not one of those things that I can just wait and see what happens. Uh, I'll just have to keep my eyes open. All right. Where is this? Where is he now? Right up here, looks like? He's somewhere. Where the heck is he? Oh, way up here. Okay, I see what's going on. Ah, back at the camp. Gotcha. I wonder if we can talk. We should be able to talk to these people now. Let's see. Kiaz. I am sure that Iokas and his apprentice have been met with much distrust. After all, many Khajiit still blame the Argonians for the Nahatan flu. Not I, of course. As long as Iokas treats me as a friend, I will return the favor. All right. And then we can talk. Oh, we can't talk to her. Let's see. Sedzi draw? Let's see if we can talk to them. Sedzi's children ask her, Why did we come here? What is there to find? She tells them, Look at the ashes. The crumbling stone. Know once that this was a place of healing, of peace, and know how easily it was destroyed. Huh. I don't rec I don't remember her from the last time. Ooh, heavy sack. Wormwood. Okido. Wait, didn't I? Okay, that was him. Just sometimes it's nice if you see, um, like if you save a bunch of people. It's, sometimes it's it's uh, nice to be able to just talk to the survivors. Mm, not good. I was afraid of this. All right, Eokus, what's going on? It does my heart good to see you unharmed. I trust the Nereid suffers no longer. Yes, I killed the Nereid. Were your egg mother's notes helpful? In a way, I did learn what happened here. My egg mother sought to create a cure for the plague. Instead, she corrupted the oasis with sickness and death. Everyone in Cicatrice died as a result of that corruption. She seems like she had good intentions. But I did not journey to Cicatrice to seek her good intentions. There has been much animosity between the Khajiit and Argonian races because of the Nahatan flu. My people are immune to the disease, so many believe we created it. What does that have to do with your Egg Mother's research? Through her research and sacrifice, I had hoped to bridge the gap between our people, prove that Argonians are not the cold-blooded monsters so many see us as. But sharing what happened at Cicatrice may only strengthen the Khajiit's hatred. What will you do then? I do not know. I must reflect on this. Still, I thank you for all that you've done. You saved my companions found my egg mother's research, and helped the oasis begin to heal. 
No small feats to accomplish, traveler friend. All right, complete quest. May your path be easy and your footsteps sure. All right, how are your companions? The foul wind of our misfortune has turned into a gentle breeze. My companions are recovering well. I will monitor them closely for the next few days and see how they progress. For now, they merely need to rest. All right, what will happen to the oasis now? I suspect both the fumes and the undead will linger for quite some time. Have no worries, though. I will make sure that its dangers are known to elsewhere. Hopefully, an effort can one day be made to cleanse it completely. Why can't it be cleansed now? The Khajiit look up to their skies and see dragons soaring overhead. They look across their fields and see bloody battles raging. They have not the time nor resources to cleanse this oasis. Not now. Then why did I kill the Nereid? The Nereid was the source of the corruption. It was her power that created toxic fumes and raised the undead. Kept alive, she would continue to do so. Now, the oasis can begin to heal. It may take decades, centuries even, but it will heal. Goodbye. All right. So, we did that, and we're, we were headed somewhere, weren't we? Right, we were headed to go get the uh, elk silk clothing, weren't we? I do believe we were. Yes, we were. All right, so we're going to. How are our companions, Laratan? Ooh. All is well, egg brother. Your antidote has helped them immensely. That's good to hear. Ayokas, were you able to find your mother's research notes? I. Yes. Our traveler friend was able to collect them. And what did they say? What happened to Cicatrice? Let us speak of that after you've recovered. For now, you need to rest. Hmm. All right. So the road should be just right out here. And we were headed this way, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. All right. Whoops. Okay, that was just going to lead to bad things. Alright, now remember when I was pointing at the bridge? Telling you that's where the dragon was? That's where it is. Oh, down over there. But we are not headed that way. If the dragon, if I could tell that the dragon was being attacked and was, you know, probably close to death. Actually, you can see the dragon. Let's get up here. See it? A white dragon. Just perched there. Off in the distance. Oh, there it goes. It sat there for its uh, length of time. Now, it looks like it's going to head by that little farm. There's... Oh, so there's another dragon. No, that's just a griffin. All right. Well, with that out of the way. All right. I need to look again where we're headed. Okay, stay on the road for now. Oh, I thought that was a jackal. All right. Um... We're coming up to another, um, what's it? Another delve. I was trying to see where it's at. It's a mine. Is it? So, where is it? Is it down there? Ooh, there's a uh, heavy sack, though. I was just trying to see where that, where that, is that? Okay, that's a fell runner, so it won't attack. It's the terror birds we have to worry about. What is that? Cinch rot and uh, ruddy fang cannibals. Well, I wasn't interested in that. I was just wanting, uh, look at that. I found the... 
uh, entrance to the delve and a quest giver. And that's all part of the game. It's all part of the way it goes. You travel, you're trying to get from point A to point B, and you might find out there's point, you know, A.1 and A.2 and A.3. But that's just, that's part of the game. That's the way it works. Otherwise, it would be really, really boring. So let's see if there's any other goodies. Nope. All right. Now we will talk to Mara Dani. Headed into Dark Pool Mines. Good. For me, I mean. Not for, I mean, maybe for you too. Who knows? Maradani could really use a strong set of claws. What's going on? My partner, Hadass, and I came here to survey the mine. Plenty of sulfur and oil hereabouts, right? Only catch, the caves full of cultists. And Daedra. I couldn't tell you what they're doing in there, but judging by the smell, it's nothing good. Where's your partner now? Still inside! A Daedrat caught us sniffing around, right? Hadas tried to tell it that joke he knows to make friends, yes? Doubt it worked, but who knows? This one took off running. I feel a little bad about leaving Hadas. Would you look for him? Sure, I'll look for your partner. Thanks for the help, Rook. Now, I don't want to alarm you, but with all the oil and sulfur, this mine could... Is there a gentler word for explode? <laughs> Maybe that's what these Daedra work toward. Joan and Jude, one cataclysm at a time, right? <laughs> Are you and Hadas miners? Engineers. We build catapults, ballisti, that sort of thing for the Northern Elsewhere Defense Force. Can't scold people with boiling oil if you haven't got any oil, right? Sulfur's good for blowing things up, too. Lucky us, we find both here. Yeah, I see how lucky you two are. Uh, what are you planning to do with Siegecraft? Like I said, blow things up. What else would we do with it? That mascot, Euroxia, builds more walls than I have hairs. Maradani gets shivers just thinking about watching them collapse. So you operate the siegecraft too? Yeah. This one's too slick and clever to swing claws and swords around. Leave that to the Pomerat and the Sanchez, right? In times of war, the wise stand in the back and throw heavy things. Good <laughs> motto to live by, yes? All right, what can you tell me about these cultists? Maradon is no scholar, but they look like Mehrun's worshippers. Mehrun's Dagon. Dagon, right? Had no idea so many of them lived in Northern Elsewhere. You can't let them finish whatever they're working on, Rook. Yeah, Maroon's Dagon is a uh, Daedric prince. Not a nice person. Uh, you think it would be catastrophic? Definitely. Plus. Maroon's worshippers are the worst. Have you ever met one? Sow, sore bottom cats, always muttering about fire and brown quigs. Mara Dani loves blowing things up too, but she doesn't get creepy about it, you know? <laughs> Goodbye. She doesn't get creepy about it. There's a dead Khajiit. Excuse me while I snoop behind you. Ginger and rye. All right. All right. Here we go, folks. Another delve, which means another uh, sky shard, which reminds me we never did get that. Um, what I believe was a sky shard down below when we were up in the, in the uh, stitches. Kind of disappointing, but we'll get to it uh, one way or the other. All right. Dagonic Razor Claw. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> There's another player trying to figure out what am I supposed to do now? Great. Now I got another person coming. Did they just try attacking a uh, in, a uh, another player? Kind of looked that way, didn't it? 
Well, while they're rushing forward, you know what I'm going to do. Snoop. Oops. Ooh, here's a empty backpack. Probably. Ah! I thought that was a player. I was going to say probably because of that player. But. Lots of torch bugs. Up. Ah, what? Well. Okay. Enough jumping around. I did it again. Guarana, but it looked like a strawberry. One of these times, I'm going to catch it. And I'm going to be like, Look! I wasn't crazy. There are containers everywhere. Lotus. I just know I probably would have fought a bunch more enemies by now. But, unfortunately... Now, if I only knew... Ah, I see which... He must have gone to the to the left. Because this way, there's an enemy. So, this is the way we're going to go. Ah, there he goes. Uh-oh. Well, this is starting to get ugly. Oh, I was really hoping they were going to do something because he was charging that spell up. All right, here's uh, Hadaz's oh, final letters. That must be Hadaz. Is it long? No. All right. Uh, Maroons, Maniacs, and Daedra are everywhere. Have to make this quick. The cultists, the claw of Dagon, found some kind of magic tool. They call it the Deadland Hammer. Take oil and sulfur from the mine and pound it into some kind of summoning stone. But it doesn't call out more Daedrus or Banekin. It summons Iron Atronox, metal giants with hearts made of coal and lava. If you find this, please tell the main, and if you can, put an end to this. Oh, and tell Ma uh, Mara Dani, I'm sorry, Hadaz. All right, I had to read that kind of quick because I didn't know what the uh, refresh rate was. Our respawn rate was. All right, so now we're after oil, looks like. Well, let's see. Well. Oh. Oh, nice. All right. Stay dead. Okay, so we are going to go straight ahead. Whew. Getting a little intense, isn't it? Oh, look at that, an Ogrim. Oh, oh stop that. Okay, okay, okay. I hate it when stuff like that happens. Because now I had to go a little bit closer to him. And he's not going to be fun to fight. spaces and fighting an ogrim never a good thing okay 
get past this spot. Oh yeah, I was gonna check and see what the uh, to see if that uh, shock staff was better than the, the one I've got. <gasps> Yipe! Hey there, handsome. No! Run, 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 run. Whew! Mmm. You're a big boy, aren't you? Alright. Um, we'll check real fast. Inventory. Ah, main hand. Um... Nope, unfortunately not. Or Corrupted Springs. That was the newest one we got, wasn't it? Um, higher level. Uh, oh, it actually looks like increases physical and... Oh, that's, that's spell resistance. Shoot. Um, I'll hold on to it, but it doesn't look like it's going to help us that much right now. Alright, so we are going to go straight ahead. I see the Sky Shard right there. Um, we'll just have to... Do we need to clear a path? Doesn't look like it. This should give us a point. Yep, gained a skill point. Okay. And then Oil Pool... Okay, now to find our way back out of here. Map. Um, looks like we have to go straight, so you know what that means. We has to fight people. Quit with the setting me on fire. I can do that to you, but you can't do that to me. That's the rules. Ah! Okay. So, I'm headed where now? Oh, up and to the left. So, headed this way. Oh, a Daedroth. Wonderful. Ooh, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, these are some really, really big, ugly guys. Look at that. Look at that. Don't look too close. <laughs> Yay! Ugh. Like a giant crocodile from hell. Look at that thing. Woo! Yeah, they're really fun, because as you can see, they breathe fire. Jeroba. Okay, was that a person? I don't know why that... I don't know. Oh well, worry about, can't worry about it now. Not much point in it. Anything in there? A barrel. With rice. Okay, what do we have? A caster. I think. Well, I thought it was spell on oh, spell blade. Ooh, look at that! Another level already. Nice. We'll worry about that when we're in a safe place. wonder where she got the torch from. Oh, there's a, uh, uh, it looks like almost like an oblivion gate.
yeah, I was gonna say because if I'm not mistaken, when when you do that, um, a group of Daedra will come out for you to fight if you choose to stop the people running the portal. I need to heal. Oh, I hate clan fears. They're fast. They are very quick. Whew. And here we go. An Iron Atronach. <laughs> well, we took care of it and closed the uh, Oblivion Gate in the process. All right, which way are we going? Um, the way we came? Oh, not the way we came. The way we were headed to begin with. Yeah, this will this will happen, and when they do little cave ins and stuff like that. Well, they're not really cave ins. I don't know what you want to call them, but. Um, it will automatically stop your character. They will immediately, well, do what she did, react. <gasps> Another Ogrim. No. Oh, good. He got caught with it. Oh, he's healing himself. Yeah, that's one thing they can do is they'll... Whoa, hello. Who's doing that? alchemist but yeah they will like uh, pound their chest and uh, they're able to heal themselves up some all right so what's that down there day drop yeah but oh that's the way we're supposed to go okie dokie as soon as I get in range where I can use that I will Knocking it right on my butt. Say, stop doing that. No, stop. Die. That's a good hell crocodile. Oof. Vicious. There we go again. Come on. Empty backpack. All right, pyromancer, take him out. Of course, there's never always just one. Quit setting me on fire. All right, anything of interest? Doesn't really look like it check the map again okay we're getting there slowly but we're getting there <laughs> oh goody That looks like fun. Whatever that is down there. And unfortunately, we'll be heading there soon enough. When you see those, those uh, lines coming off of a character like that, it means they're getting ready to do like a heavy attack. 
and it's kind of like their way of showing you what they're up to, so it gives you an opportunity to, to block it. And obviously the red is like a an, an AOE, an area effect, so you want to stay out of the red. It's kind of like the old thing, don't stand in the fire. That's an old World of Warcraft thing. So many people would stand in the fire and wonder why they're taking damage. It's like, well, because you were standing in the fire. Okay. Yeah. All right, here's an oil spot. And Deadland Hammer. Where's the other oil spot? Way over there. I don't think it matters, I hope. Oh, he's named. I didn't even look. Notice he was the boss. Gotcha. Um, maybe? Aw, oh, man. What did you go and do that for? I might die here. Because I'm trying... The cooldown is so long. That's alright. Use a, uh... Soul Gem. Step back here and just wait. Unfortunately, it reset his uh, health bar. Jeez. He just knows exactly where I'm going to stand. Oh, it doesn't look like I can get it yet. Come on. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Run, 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 run. Oh. <laughs> I was so close. I was so close. I was so close. All right. Doesn't look like he's going to attack yet. So... We are going to get our stats up. Yay! Yay! We're going to put one in health. All right, we have four points, so we definitely need to do something. Let's see. Um, what was grace? Reduces the effectiveness of snares. No. Um, let's see. Increases your weapon critical rate. How about Windwalker? Stamina? No. That's hiding. All right, let's see. Um, I'll try to find something that's going to help us out here. Maybe another spell? Um, probably. Well, let's check this again, see what this does, this passive. Um, next one's reduced. Increases your critical strike chance against enemies. Uh, I'll put one here under the, under that passive. Uh, actually, I can use two. That will reduce the use. 
had me worried there. Let's see what's bone. Let's see what's that. Slice into your enemies. Life force. Oh, nice. We are definitely gonna put that in there. Okay. So deaths. Oh wait, we can use that. Got you, you big loser. Whew. All right. Looks like we had to uh, get the... Um, we had to level up and get that extra... Just that extra little bump to, uh, to make it. So I'm thinking this is the way to the other pool... Spellblade. That fight was rough. Well, he was summoning something. It didn't work very well. He died before his... <laughs> just as his summons... Um, just as what he summoned came through the portal. So, oh goody, yep. An ogrim. <laughs> I like that, that, uh, whatever that new skill is I got. That's definitely going to come in handy. Now, I don't think I have the ability yet, but eventually, um, I think, no, the quick slot, I believe I got that already. Um, it allows you to make a second um, action bar. And it'll be tucked kind of underneath and kind of down below the other one. And you can switch between them, so that way you can have two entirely different setups. I'm not worried about the rat. Alright, where am I supposed to go now? Oh, it's, it's that way, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's another Daedroth. Don't really want feel like fighting those, but... Who did I... Who saw me? Oh, there they are. I was going to say, I didn't see anybody. Now I have to talk to the person. Well, you know what? Let's see if we can't take out that... Oh, he respawned.
Death Scythe, rank four. Oh, that was the one I was that I saw. Wasn't it? I did see one down there. At least I thought I did. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, which way are we supposed to go now? Um, oh, we ha we have to head out. Um, okay. Or about ah. See, that's one good. That's one good thing I like is that will um stop an enemy as well as you and, and your allies. So at least it's consistent. Oh, crap. Okay. Am I still going the right way? Yup. Okay. Who's this Jerba I keep seeing? Who is Jerba? I keep seeing that name, Jerba. I don't really want to go through that again. I will if I need to, but... I keep seeing the name Jerba. And I'm not entirely sure who it is. That's why I don't like those things. Got him. Okay, um, and you can see, I don't know, can you see it? Yes, you can. B um, right there by her left heel, you see that symbol. That means that I am in need of, uh, I need to recharge um, her primary weapon. Well, that's just because I just know that's the only weapon I'm using. Ah! Yeesh. Alright, can we go now? Which way are we going? We are headed this way. Got to get someplace safe. Or safe-ish. Oh, I didn't realize there was another one there. I thought... Okay. Get someplace where I should be. Ah. 
So as long as he stays still, main hand, uh, charge. There we go. All right, now the symbol's gone. should have gone to see what was in that room see if I was up there because I think that's where um, that named guy was find out because it doesn't this isn't a uh, I don't think this is a delve no or was it yeah it was wasn't it is this a delve dark pool mine I can't tell but I don't know I'm, lo I'm losing my, my itty bitty mind so don't mind me those two. I'm trying to what? Head this way? Did that one see me? No. Alright, so we need to go down here. Great. We have anything good here. Hi. Oh, Death Scythe can now be more. I think somebody threw a temporary debuff or temporary buff on me. I'm not sure what that does. Actually, I think that was a, uh, it might have been a, uh, like a healing pool, but I don't know. All right, where are we headed? We're headed this way. Yes. Okay, that's where the sky shard was. So... Well, hello, tall, dark, and ugly. Okay, not entirely sure where he came from. Oh, that oblivion gate over there. I didn't see that one.
Okay, so where are we headed now? Um, oh jeez. I wanted to make sure. All right, is this the right spot? Yeah, this is as good as any. Hi. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. What is that? Why is... What on earth? Where did she come from? A spider Daedra. Somebody summoned her. That is not what I was... Ex oh, there was that portal there. That's probably where she came from. Alright, can we try this again? Because we are trying to get out of here. Craziness. Craziness, people. <gasps> Yipe! What the heck? Why? Why? Quit. That was not very n nice thing to do. Summoning an ogrim like that. Okay, now that I'm thoroughly twisted around. Oh, this is the right way. Sometimes it's kind of cool when you back up just right and you land in uh, first person mode. Because sometimes it looks cool. I don't prefer to play this game in first person, but that's just me. Alright, come on, you people in your Molotov cocktails. Jeez, just they're everywhere. Now, how you shouldn't be able to do that without appearing first. Yeah, it takes care of you too. Is that the way out? Yup. Um, nope, this way. All right. Well, I thought we weren't going to have to fight anybody else, but it looks like there's at least one more. Okay. We get to head out now. Well, head out of here. Oh, wait. He's waiting for us. Or she is, I mean. Sorry. Hadaz didn't make it, but I wrecked the cultist operation and took their enchanted hammer. Stupid Hadaz. Always thought he'd die from something silly like falling down a privy. I'll let his family know. And this hammer, scary business, right? I'll deliver it to the man's priest. They'll know what to do with it. Thanks again, Luke. Right. Complete Crap. quest. How did you hold this hammer so long? Like hot coal on the paws, right? 
Maradona just can drop it in a bucket of water and forget about it, can she? No, I guess not. <laughs> There's still a lot of cultists down there. Do you think you'll be able to clear them out? Ha! Me? No. Maradani will report back to the Northern Elsewhere Defense Leadership. Then, they'll send a detachment of Senches and Palmar Skull Smashers to mop things up. Who knows how long that will take, though? There's a war on, after all, right? Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Right. It says we got a Dragonite Jerkin, but I don't know if that's going to do us any good. We'll find out. That is a chess piece, and I passed that up. Let's see. Uh, nope, that's a stamina piece. We definitely don't want a stamina piece. So, and I remember we did get a main hand thing. Let's see if... Nope, because I think what we got is that maple ice staff. And you can see it's not really meant to be used as... A, well, I mean, you can use it as a weapon, but it's meant to gain inspiration when you tear it apart. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, come on. Here we go. All right. So what do we have as far as quests right now? We have two. Rage of Dragons and, oh, Steal the Wood Elf Silk Clothings. That's, that's right. That's where we're, where we're at. Okay, so back out, out onto the road. I think this is the road. Kinda? Not really, not yet. <laughs> so we're supposed to head, yeah, head east until we hit the road. All right. Oop. And I'm sure I'm headed, are they still chasing? Oh, shoot. Here, eat the piggy. I'm probably heading the wrong direction. I am. Yeah. Run past him. Okay. Make sure we're headed the right way. And we pretty much are. Once this hits another road... We should be like right there. Was this, was this it? Nope, keep going. Yeah. Next one, Charlie Brown. Oh, that seems further. Must be right here. Yeah, what it Okay, so we're headed this way, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, I see another uh way shrine. So that's a definite wait, that is that a way shrine? Yes. So we'll go get that unlocked. Scars and so I think Reward for stolen wine? Well, that's not where we were headed. Where is it where we're headed? Let's see. Right there. So, um... That Valenwood Border Artisan Camp. We'll go ahead and unlock that. There shouldn't be anybody there. At least enemy-wise. It's just a camp. Where if you had the uh, if you had the right right recipes or something you'd be able to make uh, what did this say uh, cold Har uh, clothing station cold harbor's favorite you'd be able to make cold harbor's favorite uh, armor but I don't have any of that so I can't so 
What was that spot talking about? Um, well, there's this clothing. Where was the... Where was the thing? Oh, right there. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. Where is it compared? Oh, it's right there, like kind of like in the middle. Can we get to it? <gasps> hoo, 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 hoo. So that's really close, but it looks like it's it looks like it's down in that gap. Well, let's let's go look. Let's go look and see where it is. Oh, stinkhorn! I saw that. Don't run into that too much, but... Alright. What is... Reward for stolen wine. Let's see if it's very long. Yeah, it's pretty long. So I'm not going to read it. So, take white wine. And... Now it says, gather the red wine. Where is that? How far away is that? Way the heck over there. Um, we're going to do that on the way back. I don't feel like backtracking and then re-backtracking. I want to go get this other this other piece that we're supposed to supposed to have, and I'm traveling the wrong way again. But I think it's because I was up there. I think that was the problem. Or was it? I don't remember now. Okay, so... Looks like we just head this way. Darn it. Maybe I just twisted myself around. That's probably what it was. Check real quick. All right, so we're just follow this road. Oh, I see a quest giver. Oh, it's probably because we don't have that one set. Valenwood. Or Valenwood Gate. Let's see. All right, well, I took it. How's my inventory? Wrong button. It's not going to tell me. Inventory. Oh. Let's see. He was a merchant. Let's see if you... If I can sell to him. These elsewhere Khajiit aren't so bad. Once you get to know them, smell a lot better than I thought they would too. But enough about that. What can I get you? All right. So we're going to get rid of some stuff here. Trash. She's still not trained yet, so for the for the time. Let's see. Let's see. Any rest? When there's something up there, I want to make sure she doesn't already know it. Use to learn. Use to learn. Use to learn. Okay. Spoiled food. It's not worth anything. Okay. Iron dagger. It's garbage. Um, try to keep the, some of the green stuff if I can. Oh, I've got tinctures of health. That's 59. Well, sound popped in and out again, as I'm sure you all heard. Okay, we'll just get we'll just get rid of this this stuff for right now. Um. Oh, can't don't want to get rid of that. Oh, that's that's good for now. All right, so um, let's see, what do we have? Let's just see where this road goes. Finish it up. Um, 
Come on. That's what I wanted. Okay, this probably leads to another land. Yeah, it does. I want to make sure. Right. Well, it said the Val Valenwood Gate, so it probably leads to Valenwood, which, you know, makes sense. It'll probably say so on the gate itself. No, Gratwood. Well, that's still the same area. Area, so we're def we're not going there. That's a completely different region. We would be approached by the hooded figure, probably, if not right away, then once we entered the town. Let's see if there's anything here that we can take. Nope, it'd be stealing. Okay. So, which way are we headed? Um. Well. There's the other piece of that, the the red wine. Yeah, so this way it is. So at least we made it all the way to the to the southern part of the map. So I mean that's you know that's something. I know I'm not following the road. All right, double check. All right, so we're gonna go this way. And did I go? Yeah. I was wondering if I was supposed to go up this little goat path. That's interesting to see somebody with a, like a health bar or something like that. That is really unusual to see it there like that. But okay. All right. All right. What do we got? In store um, so it looks like it's on it's on the ground so that means I need to be down in that cavern looks like shoot darn it <sighs> dang I was planning on doing this anyways oh look at that <laughs> I made it from all the way down there just right and I suffered no damage. That is pretty. shouldn't shouldn't mount up because usually there's a lot of enemies yeah there's those stupid dune rippers let's see if I can get past them okay sometimes it's not easy to get past these things depends on where they are and they like to place them like right in the middle oh, of course there's dune rippers I did see nightshade right up here there it is. I don't need it, but I mean it's the first time we've we've seen it so far. So now Dune Rippers is what we have to contend with. Wonderful. right there on top of it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Red wine. All right, now what? Gather the obscure wine. Oh, geez. Well, here's a, a, a runestone. Oh, I haven't had a single person come into chat. We've been streaming over two hours, so I'm going to go ahead and make a quick 
announcement on my Facebook wall. Because it's like, there's nobody here. And of course, my phone is being slow. It's being really slow. Come on, all I want to do is make a post because I'm planning on streaming for a little bit longer. Okay, let's see. Right there. Let's see. Stream in progress. In Rogra in Augress. I can't spell. Come whoops. Say come day. Twitch dot oh I hate it when it does that. Sometimes it'll do that, sometimes it won't. Oh, you bugger. Dot. TV. No, stupid thing. It's making my life difficult. All right. There we go. Back at it. Where were we? Right, we had to go and f get the uh, obscure wine. Where is that? Well, it's along the same trail, looks like. All right. Oh, man. I think there's, if I'm not mistaken, there's more Dune Rippers. Um, and I think there's a Griffin or two. And if it's not Dune Rippers, then it's... Um, terror birds so let's see Araxi yeah there's some Araxians um, I'm pretty sure that every Khajiit is a giant ball of fur some more giant than others some less true enough and if I find another bit of fur in my food I'm gonna fork up Is that I keep seeing that name, Jazopa or something like that? I keep seeing it, and I don't get it. It's really confusing me why it keeps popping up, especially since there's no person around here. Oh, and those Dune Rippers are probably just within range, so they're gonna see me. Oh, and that one's walking forward. Yeah, that just... Fine. That's what you get for being, I don't know, inconsiderate? Talk to Hofgrad Kjorsen or something. Okay, where's he at? Um, oh, he's way over in the stitches. What was that? Sound like a boom. There's a griffin. So, whew. Uh, I'm trying to figure this out. Um, where we're supposed to go now? So, what is that other one? Oh, Humble's. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, we've already traveled this, so I'm going to be. Get us there quicker. You spent 
So I've never actually had it do it like that. So that is actually really cool. They get to see it in first person. That was cool. <laughs> that was really cool. I figure it's a lot quicker to get us uh, there this way than just riding. And since we've already explored that area, we're good to go. And it's just going to be probably just a crate with junk in it. Game popping again. Okay. Um, are they both below? People that we're supposed to talk to? Looks like it. Okay. Let's see. I think they're... Are they both here? Looks like they might be. Here's Hofgrad Kjorsen or whatever. Have you found one of my master's treasures? He's always interested in reclaiming what is rightfully his. I found three bottles of wine. Really? You look surprisingly sane for someone who's touched all three bottles. You must be incredibly resistant to a... Well, it's none of my business. I cannot thank you enough. My master will be very pleased. I hope you didn't run into any trouble. Uh, I found a dead body. Just one. The last person who returned these bottles found them under a pile of corpses. He was so affected by the wine that he purportedly spent the rest of his existence atop that mass of bodies. Fortunately, you seem to be immune to the curse. The wine bottles are cursed? My master is a connoisseur of cursed collectibles. Wine, jewelry, paintings, people. Here is your reward. If you find more cursed items, please bring them here. I still hope that if his collection grows large enough, you'll no longer need me in it. <laughs> Complete Thank quest. You for returning my master's wine. If someone brings me the rest of his cursed collectibles... He might finally let me leave this place. Leveled up again. Uh, you collect cursed items? Are you cursed too? I stole a cursed book from my master and was punished by being trapped in this exact place, waiting to receive other stolen items. I've stared at this same wall of rocks for years, dreaming of using my legs again, if only to jump from this cliff. Who is your master? Never say his name, stranger. His name is more horrible than any curse. All right. Goodbye, then. I don't think that's his master. I think that's just somebody else. Oh, yeah, it's just a guard. All right, so we're safe here. So let's go ahead and do rewards. We get lockpicks. We get... Oh, okay. Uh, pardon edicts. Um, as you can see, if, you, if we end up racking up a bounty, we can use one of these and it'll clear our name. Well, up to 500 uh, coins worth. Ah, rep weapon swap. We get that at uh, level 15. Okay, so continue. All right, we're going to go ahead and go back to Magicka. All right, two points. Um, I still... Ooh, Death Scythe looks like it can... It's ready to be... Oh, I forgot about bone armor. I've used that before. Uh, wrap yourself in hardened bone, granting you major resolve, increasing your physical resistance and spell resistance. Um, but death sight is what I was after. It's an advised skill. So it will... Is there... Well, I guess... Gain a heal over time. Okay. Okay. All right, we've got one point left. We're keep we're holding on to it because we're gonna be going back to Rimmon soon. Where'd he go? Or she? I didn't even know who I was looking for. <laughs> oh yeah, Doofus here. You got a striking figure, Walker. There are ah, you again. How goes your holy work? I acquired the offerings you requested. Then the king of thieves was watching over you. 
Ah, oh, let's see, let's see. Ah, yes, this will do. Yes, 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 yes. Fine offerings for Rajin. Do not forget yourself when dividing spoils, or Rajin will think you a fool. Could be, though it is best not. Thief God's pants. <laughs> I bless you in the name of the sleek shadow. Fortune and fame are yours for the taking. So you're some sort of priest? Is Rajin a god? Do gods not have those who spread word of their deeds? This one is but a humble servant to a more deserving master. Can you perform blessings and other services? Of course, of course, the one. This one does not need a temple to bend his god's ear. He will gladly ask for Rajin's favor on your behalf. For a humble offering. Or perhaps you wish to hear a sermon. This one can provide objects of faith as well. <laughs> can you smell a scam? See, I would like a blessing or I want to hear a sermon. But this is going to be... Yeah, we're here. So let's do it. All right. I want to hear a sermon. Come closer, Walker. And this one will regale you with a tale of Rajin. Long ago, on the night of new moons, the dark was so thick that shadows stretched to oblivion. No one dared to brave the night. But one crafty thief, he chose to walk the strands. <laughs> to oblivion? Just so. On this night, they stretched through the lunar lattice and led the thief toward the faint glimmer of the stars. Except the dancing lights were not the stars, but twilight caught in a realm of spun silver. Within, silky voices argued. Daedra? Three princes, clothed in shadows, each claiming dominion of the night. The thief grew closer, stepping along the web where the light had not been caught, and listened to their debate. As he crept unnoticed, the clever thief made a plan. What did he do? He waited patiently, quietly, as the princess talked in circles, learning all he could. Then, when the time was right, he stepped out from the shadows and announced himself. This one knows the night like no other. He would be honored to choose. That seems unwise. This thief was set. Two princes, sisters you could see, regarded the thief cool. But the spinner of the silver web looked upon him hungrily. You are a light touch, princess. But foolish to come buzzing into the spike's web. Gee, do we want to say, that time I definitely felt something. Did you just pick my pocket? M me? No, no. no I, I am not so skilled a thief as to fleece a favorite of Rajin. Uh, though if something is missing, he may have shown you his disfavor for interrupting his tale. Best we continue, lest you suffer another loss. See, now we can't pick either one of these, so we have to say goodbye or forget the sermon I need something else. What else may this humble servant of Rajin do for the faithful? So I'd like a blessing. King of thieves, one of your faithful seeks your favor. This one humbly begs you spare a fraction of your ample sleekness for their benefit. Ah, there is a fresh glow about you. You are nearly as dashing as dashing the Salzo once was. <laughs> Just go ahead and let this go. All right, so let's check now. Um, journal, quests. All right, we just have one, Rage of Dragons. We have to return to Riverhold, but... All right, uh, yeah, we're in the stitches. Um, let's see. Let's go up here. I know where I want us to go and need us to go. I do believe... Are we facing the right way? Yeah, I think so. 
I do not know if you can fall off the banister and go plunging to your death, but I would imagine you could. So, I'm just going to say don't try it. I've always kind of wanted to, but I've never really, I don't know, just never really decided to actually give it a try to see if I could. Now, so this has been the second time we've come across um, a time where we could use persuasion or intimidate. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Rimen and find the Mages Guild so we can become a, um, a member. It's really super easy. And then I do believe we can uh, do... Uh, persuade. I think Intimidate is Fighter's Guild. We can join it, you know, as many of the guilds as we want. Alright, so I need the map so I know where I'm headed. Uh, okay, this will take a second because I'm not sure where the stuff is. Ah, there's the Mage's Guild. And that must be the Fighter's Guild. Yep, alright, so... Yeah, I believe it's on the other side of the bank. Yep, there's the Fighters Guild. And that should be the Mages Guild. The Dragon Kingdom Pact has come to lead us. Alright, Mages Guild. That's one thing I always forget. Alright, who do we have you here? You came for crafting certification. I can assist you. Okay, he's a he's the the crafter, and I think I'm trying to remember where the a fascinating application of the technique. Magister, so I do believe this is who we want. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? All right, the Mage's Guild. Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Let's talk about the Mages Guild. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. What can you tell me about the Mages Guild? We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. Okay, uh, what do I get in return? We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the guildmaster himself. Yeah, when you join a guild, after a while you'll be approached by a member of that guild and they will send you on quests. So there's actually like a Mage's Guild quest line. There's a Fighter's Guild quest line. So just adds more to the story. Um, let's see, you mentioned a guildmaster. Vanus Galarian, one of the founding members of this august body. Still holds the proud title of Guildmaster, overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. He works with other ranking members, such as Tellinger, the Artificer, to ensure our future success. You're not affiliated with the Aldmeri Dominion? We are neutral in the war between the three alliances. When we're on guild business, we kneel to no king or queen. That's why you'll see members of every race in our halls. All right. I'm ready to join the Mages Guild. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the guild. All right. Complete quest. All right. So now let's... Whoops. Let's see. Skill line game. Okay. Let's just 
give it a second here. Make sure everything's loaded up. Who's that down there? Oh, that's one of the... Uh, yeah. So, skills. Let's see if it shows up yet. Mage's Guild. Pers yep. And Persuasive Will allows you to persuade. That's what we want. And then we'll come over here. We will go and let's see. I think it's down here. Okay. Next time I'm in the field. Crafters. I bring a great war hammer. Or She's. Did you come here for crafting certification? Not yet. I'm looking for. He's a crafter. Okay, one of them. Let's see. He does crafting. Let's see. I think I, I can't remember if you have to go in through another door. If, or, or if it's. I can't remember. Oh, I think we'd have to be upstairs to go across. Yeah. Looks that way. Oh well. I just wanted to get the, the Fighters Guild joined as well. Let's see. <laughs> I think. Is this him? Hall Steward. Yep. There we go. Welcome to our hall. Are you familiar with the guild? The guild? The Fighters Guild. You should consider joining up. We have a new guildmaster and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk for a moment? Sounds good. Let's talk about the Fighters Guild. Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? You mentioned a singular purpose. Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the danger and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. No, in not yet. chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. You don't see those here and elsewhere. I can't remember where you have to be to see them. I think it's in the Ar um, Argonian's land. I think that, and there's a couple other places where you go where you, uh, where we will see those, but you don't see them in elsewhere. What do I get in return? Ha, yeah, a good question. We train our members in special techniques, and the higher-ups are always looking for motivated <sighs> members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Jotnir. Okay, what happened to the old Guildmaster? Guildmaster Jotnir passed away recently, very suddenly. I always thought he'd die with a blade in his hand. But he passed away in his sleep, called to sovereign guard by his ancestors. We all miss him, but Colors has proven to be a very able leader. Sovereign guard is for the Nords. That's their version of heaven. Uh, you're not part of the Dominion military? No. We only draw blades in service to the guild. We're technically neutral in the war between the three alliances. We love the Eagle Banner and Her Majesty, of course. But every race, every creed belongs under the Guild Hall's roof. Okay, uh, I'm ready to join the Fighters Guild. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. All right, complete quest. Right, this this should give me the uh, intimidate uh, skill. Well, I have to put a point in it. Let's wait. Make sure everything's loaded. Skills, uh, fighter skill. Yep. See, intimidating presence. So as soon as we get our next point, we're putting it right in there, so that way we will be able to intimidate and be able to persuade, which helps. I don't want to say helps a lot, but, you know, gives you a more expansive, you know, choice. 
Right, but first we are going to... Do we want to talk to these people now? Because they're... we got three different types of... Uh, no, two different crafters. We have her. She does the actual um, armor crafting. And he does, I believe, po potions? Potions and food and uh, enchanting, I believe. Well, let's find out. Let's talk to her. You here for crafting certification? Don't worry. There's no cost involved. Your reliance covers all my fees. Once you're certified, they'll let you fulfill the crafting writs. Everyone wins. Okay. What are crafting writs? They're daily requests for crafted goods, but they're only available to certified crafters. If you can show me you know your craft, I'll get you certified. All right, tell me how this works. I can train and certify blacksmiths, clothiers, and woodworkers. If that sounds like something you'd want, we can get started. Okay, um... I want to know more about the crafts you certify. Of course. What do you want to know? Well, let's just start at the top. What can a blacksmith make? Anything with metal in it. And I don't mean horseshoes and calipers. The crafting writs are for weapons and heavy armor, so that's what I teach. What does a woodworker make? Bows, shields, and magical staves. Staves? No, it's staves. I always forget how to say that. <laughs> I do too sometimes. But yes, the plural of staff is staves. All right, what do clothiers make? Cloth and leather goods. Crafting writs want pieces of light cloth armor or medium leather armor, so that's what I certify. Okay. Let's see. All right, I've got it. Have you spoken with Danel Teleno? He handles certification and training for provisioning, enchanting, and alchemy. He's a bit stuffy, but he knows what he's doing. No, I... Pr well, we'll go to him afterwards. No, I prefer you certify me. Excellent. We can get started whenever you're ready. Complete quest. Let me know if you have some time. I can train and certify you in something else. Right. Um, tell me more about blacksmith certification. Prove you know your way around a forge and I'll certify you. But you have to commit. I can only train one discipline at a time. All right. I want to be certified as a blacksmith. I want you to craft a simple iron dagger. First, you'll mine some iron ore. Then refine the ore into iron ingots. You'll use those ingots to make the dagger. You'll certify me if I make an iron dagger? Yes. You have to prove you know your way around the blacksmithing station. Those are the rules. For now, bring me an armload of iron ore. Once you're back, you'll refine them into iron ingots. Now, because I have the uh, crafting bag, all that stuff is in there for, with the other characters that I've played. So that's why I already have enough iron ore, even though Raven has technically not mined a single piece of iron at all yet. But I already have enough iron ore. Bring the iron ore to a blacksmithing station. If you have enough, you can refine them into iron ingots. Really put your back into it. When you have iron ingots, return to me. Actually, I have some iron ingots as well. What should I do next? Go to the blacksmithing station and craft an iron dagger. Nothing fancy. You shouldn't need more than two iron ingots. Oh, and you'll need a style material. You can purchase them from any blacksmith or scavenge them yourself if you're thrifty. I'll go make that dagger then. All right, so now we have to go, whoops, find the door. Which way did I... I think I came in this way. Nothing like twisting yourself all about. Okay, I do believe this was the Fighter's Guild that I came into, right? Yep. Alright, so we need to build, build, craft a dagger. And all that, come on, is down this way. And blacksmith? 
Or is this the food? No, nope, this is the blacksmith. All right, it says blacksmith sells the dark elf style material. So apparently they want us to make it in the dark elf style. Well, let's just see what happens. Uh, creation. Um, all right, see, I went into creation. And this will show you, like you've got, um, shows you what weapon type, and then just get your materials and your style. Um, and that changes between apparel and weapons. So right now we're just looking for the dagger symbol right there and iron ingots right there. And this, let's see the style. Apparently they want, uh, dark elf. I think it was. Yeah, I think that sounded right. So then we highlighted that and then we just click craft. All right, we crafted the dagger. All right. Oh, I can Let's hope see. no one's hurt. This one shudders to think of the damage the beast could do. I got myself twisted around. Oh, that's right, I forgot. She, she comes to the uh, market Next time being afterwards. Free, craft an iron dagger. You'll need some iron ingots and a style material. You can buy those from any blacksmith if you can't find them yourself. I have it right here. The trick is the style material, but I'm sure you know that. I figured it out. What more would you have me do? Next is deconstruction. You learn a lot when you break something into parts, even more so when it's someone else's work. Go deconstruct your dagger, or anything else, really. As long as you do it at a blacksmithing station. Right. What exactly is deconstruction? It's a fancy way to say take something apart. Yep. The term originally came from Ultima poetry critiques. High elves consider their physical crafts to be forms of poetry, so it's stuck. You can't know what a sword is, only what it's not, and so forth. How is deconstruction useful to me? You'll regain some components, of course. But the real trick is to deconstruct another crafter's work. You can learn far more by disassembling someone else's material than your own. All right. Goodbye. So we come up over here. And then we select deconstruct. Now we can deconstruct stuff. We have to select it and then deconstruct and select the iron dagger. Deconstruct. Now all this stuff says can be researched, and that's something that's something later. We'll wor we'll worry about. Okay, we're just gonna go back and forth and see. Even what's his face? He came here too because when you go ahead and select first one from him, they'll both be here again. You'll be dealing with him instead of her. You certainly know your way around the forge. You're a blacksmith, and let none tell you otherwise. I'm ready to be certified as a blacksmith. Of course. I'll get you certified right away so you can fulfill blacksmith crafting writs immediately. All right, and complete Let quest. Let me know if you have some time. I can train and certify you in something else. All right, we'll go ahead and do the woodworking and the clothier, and then probably by then it'll be time for me to call this stream done. Which is, you know, it's been almost three hours, so another nice long one, but let's get working on this one. I'm interested in woodworking certification. A good woodworker sees the final product before cutting the first block of wood. But I can't teach two crafts at once. If you commit yourself to the training, I'll certify you. I want to be certified as a woodworker. I want to know if you can craft a maple bow. First, go harvest some rough maple. You'll refine it into sanded maple at a woodworking station. Last, you'll take the sanded maple and turn it into a maple bow. You'll certify me if I craft a maple bow? Absolutely. Bows are challenging to craft. Show me you're up to the challenge and I'll happily certify you. But first, go get me a bundle of rough maple. See, just like I said before, it's a good thing to have that. Uh, crafter's bag, especially if you've played it with other tunes. I already have some rough maple. Bring the rough maple to a woodworking station. As long as you have enough, you can refine it into sanded maple. 
Return to me when you've done that, and we'll talk about crafting a maple bow. I already have some sanded maple, too, actually. Craft a maple bow at a woodworking station. You'll need sanded maple, also a style material. Scavenge them yourself, or buy a style material from a carpenter. I'll go craft that bow, then. I prefer to work with maple. It's reliable, plentiful, rarely full of wasps. Hmm. Well, that's weird. It says, I have the sanded maple. What do we do next? But I'm going to go ahead and click goodbye, because I already know. So, um, make sure I don't get myself twisted around, which I probably, actually, this is a woodworking station right here. All right, uh, creation, we go up to, oh, gotta go up to weapons, and there's the bow, maple bow, sanded maple, dark elf, so we just craft one. And there we go. Now we go and talk to her again, which she's right over here. Like I said, it's so easy to get twisted around in this market. I do it all the time. But luckily, it's not too big. All right, there she is. I prefer to work with maple. It's reliable, plentiful, rarely full of wasps. Hmm. Um, wait. I thought I just did it. I have the sanded maple. What do we do next? Craft a maple bow at a woodworking station. You'll need sanded maple, also a style material. Scavenge them yourself, or buy a style material from a carpenter. What is a style material? Every race has a traditional material they work into their weapons and armor. For example, the imperial style material is nickel. I should know. Every day in the Legion camps, I worked a pile of it. What style material do I need? The dark elf style material is obsidian. Try that and see. And I think the only reason why she's having me do that is because my, you know, I'm dark elf. How do I learn other racial styles? You can learn how to craft with another race's style material by studying racial motif books. They're quite rare, mostly held by collectors, so watch for them in your travels. Okay. Craft a maple there we go. I was starting to worry. <laughs> to a woodworking station as well as a style material. Carpenters sell them if you can't find any yourself. I guess it didn't go through enough of her uh, dialogue. I have the bow right here. A good bow will get you far in life. Making good bows will get you farther. I'm ready for the next step. Excellent. Now we can talk about deconstruction. You grow as a woodworker when you disassemble your own creations, even more so with someone else's work. Head to a woodworking station and deconstruct your bow or any other crafted wood. All right, we don't need to go through the uh, the uh, thing of what is deconstruction because we already know. All right, so we move down to deconstruct. And then we've got... We can deconstruct this and deconstruct that. Maybe? Oh, right. There we go. And we'll worry about the other stuff. Yeah, the, the research is something else that has to do with uh, deconstruction. Um, it has to do with the... Um, with the tra I think it's the training on it or something. Anyways, let's get back to her. I've seen everything I need to see. You're a fine woodworker with a steady hand. I'm ready to be certified as a woodworker. Certainly. You're more than qualified to fulfill woodworking crafting rates. I'll certify you immediately. All right, complete There's quest. There's only one more certification I can provide. If you need training, I have time. All right, I'd like to know more about clothier certification. If you convince me you know how to use a needle and thread, I'll certify you. However, you must commit. I can't certify two things at once. I want to be certified as a clothier. Show me you can craft a pair of homespun gloves. First, you'll collect some raw jute, then return here and refine it. Finally, you'll use refined jute to make the gloves. You'll certify me if I craft homespun gloves? Of course. It was the first trade I studied. 
I'm happy to certify anyone familiar with a clothing station. Now run forth and bring me a pile of raw jute. I already have enough raw jute. Take the raw jute to a clothing station. If you have enough, you can easily refine it. Bring the refined jute to me when you're done, and then you'll make some homespun gloves. Actually, I already have some refined jute as well. What should I do next? Head to the clothing station and craft a pair of homespun gloves. You shouldn't need much refined jute. Don't forget the style material. You can purchase them from any clothier or scavenge them yourself. I'll go make the gloves then. Alright, so it should be behind her. Over here. Alright, clothing station. Creation. Okay, we have to go up here, up to type. We're looking for gloves right there. Jute. And dark elf style. So, craft. All right. Now we'll go back. Talk to her again. Craft a pair of homespun gloves. You'll need refined jute and a style material. Clothier sell those if you can't find any yourself. I have the gloves right here. You know, I'm a master clothier, yet I still own a pair of homespun gloves. They keep my hands warm at night. Sometimes simple is better. Right, I'm ready for our next step. Wonderful. Now for deconstruction. There's much to learn from breaking down your own work, even more so with someone else's creation. Head to a clothing station and deconstruct your gloves. Or anything else, really. Just be sure you do it there. All right. Now we got to go back and deconstruct the gloves. All right. Move down to deconstruction. And then deconstruct the gloves. And then we'll go back to her. capable with needle and thread. I'll be proud to call you my colleague. I'm ready to be certified as a clother. Already done. You'll now be able to fulfill clothier crafting writs, and I look forward to seeing more of your work. I have nothing right. left to teach. Have you spoken with Donnell Paleno? He can certify you at enchanting, alchemy, and provisioning. Last I heard, he was in the local mages guild. Goodbye. So now I can talk to him since he's here. There is much more I can teach you. What else do you hope to learn from me? Even though I've never talked to him. Okay, uh, let's see. What can you tell me about provisioning certification? A provisioner condenses the essence of ingredients into food or drink. A true artist balances palate with nutrition. I can share this noble profession. But I can only certify one craft at a time. Understood? I want to be certified as a provisioner. Provisioning is a rewarding yet grueling profession. Gruel, you see. I am capable of levity on occasion. First, you'll need a recipe and some ingredients. Then you shall roast a pig. You'll certify me if I roast a pig? Yes, I hope you don't think it beneath. As bards learn lyrics before singing them, provisioners must work from recipes. A recipe specifies volume, proportion, and preparation time. Understanding these principles is key. Very well. Where should I find a recipe? I keep an old rival's recipe nearby. Go, find and memorize it. Return to me when you have done so. Where else can I find recipes? Provisioners are quite secret. But all is fair in brews and stews. Some provisioners hide recipes in old drawers or shelves, thinking themselves clever. Better to memorize the recipe than others cannot possibly learn your secrets. Is there anywhere I can purchase recipes? Should coin be of no issue to you, guilds often sell such items in their guild stores. You may also trade with an ally they have any excess. All right. Goodbye. So now we have to search his trunk, but we are going to call it a day. 
Actually, let's go ahead and get us to the Mages Guild and we will stop there. Because it is 10 o'clock. We've been adventuring for the past three hours. Even though I was originally planning a two-hour stream like last time. But hey, you know, when you're enjoying yourself, why would you want to stop? So we're just going to come over here. To the Mages Guild. All right. All right, and we are going to call this a day. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I hope you enjoyed our little adventure. We got a decent amount um, accomplished. You got to, you know, see some nice areas. Got to see some interesting creatures, interesting people. And we still have a long ways to go just in elsewhere. There's still lots of areas we haven't uncovered. Lots of places we haven't found. Creatures fought. So we have a lot of time ahead of us. So don't you worry about that. So... Anyways, my friends, like I said, I am going to call this stream done and a success, I would hope. So I hope you had a great time. Thank you so much again for being here with me. And I will have another stream going unless something comes up and I decide to do one beforehand. I've got another stream scheduled for this coming Sunday at I believe nine o'clock so uh, just go to uh, check my my twitch schedule I should have it there unfortunately it I don't know if it's because I'm still new it does not allow me to schedule just one day I have to schedule as reoccurring so it'd be like every Tuesday or every Friday so hopefully eventually it will let me get to the point where I can schedule one day here one day there uh, because I'm, I would like to alternate on my, on the weekends, do a stream on, on Saturday, then the following week, do it on Sunday, and then just back and forth to try to, you know, catch people that would like to see my streams, but, you know, weekends would be the best, you know, want to try to make it as easy as possible for you people to catch me. But anyways, um, like I said, thank you all for joining me. Um, I'm going to be going to bed here in about an hour and a half because I have to work tonight. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Here comes my Monday. Uh, so anyways, thanks again. Um, make sure and tell your friends about the stream. You know, have them come join me. You know, give me a follow. I'm going to get things started. Well, I heard a ping somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure where it's at. Maybe in chat. I don't know. I didn't see anything. But anyways, um, uh, lost my train of thought. You know, come join me uh, next time. Come see me in chat. Give me a holler. And um, I'll see you all uh, next Tuesday for a stream. So take care, everyone. Love you guys. And I will see you next time.